is going to be a good one. 2024 American Spending Habits report found that 75% of U.S. consumers admit they have an overspending problem. Here to help you make some smarter spending choices is money-saving expert Andrea Rorock. Oh, let me get my pen and paper out. <laughs> I am ready. I am ready. Uh, spending problem. Yes. 75%. That's a lot. That's a lot. And that survey also said that almost 50% of those people have cried about their overspending problems. Here's the thing. There's so many temptations out there from online retail, in-store retail, social media, learning what you're doing wrong. And I have a few tips to help you avoid those impulse purchases and save. Okay. I am all ready for it. Um, taking advantage the first one is of credit card re reward? Right, yes. Yeah. So first of all, I wanted to mention what? spaving. Do you know what spaving is? This is when you spend money to save money. So just make sure if you are looking at a deal that it's actually something you need okay. rather than just buying it because it's on sale. Or if you're going to buy one sweater, don't buy two or three to get that extra but free that's one what because they it's- said you want to do. <laughs> exactly. So that's a big one because okay. that can help you avoid overspending okay. on unnecessary items. And then just look for deals when you need them. I love a site like Coupon Cabin because you can look for coupons by store name. Okay. And then when it comes to the credit cards that you mentioned- Okay, here we go. Don't chase the rewards. If you are carrying a balance, you're going to be paying a much higher interest rate than any of the percent back that you're getting. So you really need to reevaluate your credit card use okay. and make sure you're not carrying that balance. And there are some other apps you could use instead to get rewards like Fetch. Have you heard of that app? It's really cool. You just take Fetch. a picture of your receipt, you'll earn cash back for everything you're buying anyway, and you're not now having to use a credit Fetch, card first. Like F E T C H. C -H. Yeah. This so you is take that. a picture of the receipt and they give you a cash back? They give you points and then you can redeem points for gift cards to stores like Target, Sephora, Starbucks. You love Starbucks and get some really? freebies for what's yourself the, that way. The catch? They're just sharing, you know, some of your purchasing habits for Ooh. marketing okay. purposes, but I mean, we're hey, doing that anyway. That's true. That's true. Okay. What else do we have? Okay. So you also want to be really savvy about those free loyalty programs. I mean, stores offer loyalty programs these days. You may as well sign up. You're going to earn extra coupons, exclusive sales. You're also going to get free shipping from a lot of sites like H&M. Yeah. I also love CVS Pharmacy's Extra Care loyalty program. They're giving you personal ideals for the items that you buy anyway. Oh, okay. And then also 2% back in extra bucks, which is like free money plus other perks and benefits. So if you're shopping there anyway, whatever store you're at, look for those loyalty programs because it's going to get you some extra cash back. Okay, so loyalty Starbucks, program. right? They give you rewards for your purchases oh, girl, as can well. Can I tell you something I just learned at Starbucks and I'm, I'm going to do, I mean, I kind of did this before, but I'm really going to do this. If you get like your drink and you take your own cup, they give you 25 points. And if you add that up over four days, it'll end up being a one free drink a week. There you go. And you're saving like that. a healthy yes. environment, right? <laughs> okay, take advantage of that. Okay, the next one here that says better times to get a deal. What does that mean? Exactly. You want to time your purchase right. So for instance, seasonal items mm -hmm. are going to be a better buy mid to end of season. So yes, all the stores have all the cute vacation outfits out right now, but those are going to be the highest prices. Try to wait till June or right before your vacation. If you're heading away midsummer, that's when you're going to get bigger deals. Also, same thing with like patio furniture. Amazon Prime Day in July, better oh, time it's to July? buy. It's July. Okay. Yep, in July, better, best time to buy your gadgets and personal home appliances, kitchen appliances, little, you know, those small ones. Also, May is May tag month. This is going to be the best time to buy your kitchen and laundry appliances. So those are big ticket items. You could save up to 30% on Maytag appliances. Oh. And they even have a deal where buy three or more. So if you're doing a renovation, okay. you'll get an additional $200 rebate. So the point is you really want to time your purchases to find the best deals. Okay. If you have one piece of advice for us this morning, people are watching and it seems so overwhelming and everybody's spending and the economy, it feels like it's just fallen out of our hands. What would you tell everybody? I want you to reevaluate your spending and look at a budget, set a budget and follow it. So a lot of us don't realize where you're wasting money. And it could be a small reoccurring subscription. We were just talking about this. I noticed a subscription that I was signed up for 
$100 that went to waste over the course of a year. And, and then my kids signed up for an app that I was paying for. Yes. You know, the, So you have to actually look at those expenses. Yes. And there are some cool apps called Trim. They will identify all the subscriptions you're signed up for, help you cancel the ones you don't want. Because, you know, sometimes they are charged on an annual basis. If you don't look at your statement that time it's charged, you might not even realize you're paying for yeah. it. So definitely list it all out. Go through, cancel what you don't need, don't want. And then, you know what? Make room for the purchases that maybe you don't need, but that bring you happiness, yeah. like your Starbucks. Yeah. Build it into your budget, and then you can feel good about it and not stressed out. Not stressed. Oh, this is all good advice. Look at all the notes that I Ooh, took. I'm I, just so I, glad. I'm going to go do work on budget now. So. Awesome. Thank you for being here. Thank Always you. good to have you. If you want to get more information, learn how to save more tips, foxisandiego.com. Click the scene on tab.